One month ago, a 200,000 ton ship became stranded in the Suez Canal, one of the world's biggest and busiest trade routes was suddenly blocked, leaving hundreds of ships waiting to pass through. Shortly after, an image appeared in news and social media all over the world. I'm guessing that most of you have seen it. A seemingly small yellow excavator hunkered in the shadow of this enormous ship, patiently, patiently digging in the sand. Five days after, after the digging and tugging, the ship was freed, but not until the moon came to the rescue, in the form of a rising tide. That image has stayed with me ever since. Despite all our human efforts, in the end, the nature, we depend on the nature to help us. Ladies and gentlemen, through the years I've had the great privilege of meeting a number of Nobel laureates, some of whom I believe are with us right now. For me and my family, attending the Nobel Prize ceremonies and the meetings, meetings with the laureates is a traditional high point of each year, a cherished light in the Swedish December dark. The Nobel Prize, instituted by the Swedish industrialist Alfred Nobel at the turn of the 20th century, is widely considered the world's most prestigious award, celebrating those who is, in the words of the uh, great donor, uh, who has, in the, in the words of the great donor, conferred the greatest benefit to humankind. During 120 years, many groundbreaking discoveries and achievements have been awarded, and still, the Nobel Prize is so much more than an award. It is an inspiration and a reminder to all of us of the potential of the human capacity, of the transformative power of science and art, and the opportunity of a better future for all. Esteemed laureates, ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, we will hear Professor Carl Folke present the key messages of this meeting's white paper. I have gotten to know the Professor Folke personally via the initiative CBOS, Seafood Business for Ocean Stewardship. And over the years, we have had many opportunities to discuss the fascinating dynamic interplay between humankind and na the nature that we depend on. As the white paper points out, we are now at the moment in time where humanity has become the dominant force of change on planet Earth, causing increasing turbulence in our biosphere. That can be a frightening thought. However, we can also choose to see it from the opposite angle. Humankind is at the steering wheel of our planet. We have science, we have technology, we have an interconnected global economy. And that means we do have a choice. Esteemed laureates, ladies and gentlemen, we can stay on the current course with devastating consequences for the planet that we depend on. Or we can choose now to take a safer, more resilient path to turn the ship around before it's too late. The choice is ours, and this is our window of opportunity. Thank you.